Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to go over small language models that you can run, even if you don't have enough money to buy those big GPUs, because I don't know about you, but I'm not about to drop 800 bucks on a GPU. I want to, but I'm not gonna because I don't have 800 bucks laying around. So what can we do with small language models? So this video today is going to go over all of my favorite models that I like and use today. Today is November 15th of 2025. I will tell you about the models that I really like that are less than six gigabytes. So for perspective, I am using a RTX 4060. It is an eight gigabyte graphics card. It's relatively inexpensive. And I think it is a pretty good proxy for older graphics cards, less expensive graphics cards, or even people running on CPU. So CPU is always going to be a bit slower. But for those of us who don't have enough money for big GPUs, this is the type of video that I really wanted to see from other people. And I just didn't see it. So I said, hey, I play with all these models all the time anyway, let's just make it. So before we get into the actual models, I wanna talk a little bit about tokens per second because there is a big difference between being able to run a model and being able to run a model in a way that's going to be useful. So check this out. This is 110 tokens per second. Now you know how fast that looks. Now let me compare that to a different model. I'm gonna throw up one here that's going to be pretty slow. This one is probably going to be, I would guess, around six to seven tokens per second once it loads. And the reason I wanna show you these two extremes is so that you know when you're looking at this, what is this actually like as a user? So you can see it takes a little while to process the prompt with this one. Okay, there it goes. So yeah, oh, okay, so that was four tokens per second. So it's pretty extreme change, right? So with the first model, we were at 110. With this one, we're at four. Let me try one more that's just kind of in between. And that way you have a pretty good guesstimate of where things will be. Let's use a granite small, that'll be fun to do. Get that loaded up and we'll just say the same thing where we'll say hi and it's, I'm guessing it's gonna be somewhere in the ballpark like 40 tokens per second and that'll give us a good benchmark before we get into all the rest of the actual models that I recommend. So let's see what this comes out as. Okay, 11 tokens per second, not much faster, but whatever. So it gives you an idea. Four tokens per second, for me, not usable. 11 tokens per second, I ain't that patient. About the slowest that I can handle personally is probably around 30 to 40 tokens per second. If it's slower than that, it drives me bonkers. So let's take a look. I'm gonna show you these a number of different models going from smallest to biggest. So the smallest model that I like to use and actually use relatively frequently is Granite 4 1 billion. Okay, so in all of these, I asked the same question. Um, I asked, make this email appropriate to send to my academic colleague. I'm a professor and they are too. This needs to be constructive and work towards future collaboration. I like this person and wanna keep working with them. Dude, your software sucks. It's full of bugs. Why would you send this garbage to me? I can't believe you wasted my time with that. Get good, son. Right? So I'm never going to send that email. So I wanted this thing to help me. And I will say my perspective on LLMs is I am not going to ever use exactly what they give me. I'm looking for ideas on ways that I can re-say things without having to spend a lot of time thinking about it, right? So this 1 billion parameter model on my computer, I will say this is not a great benchmark from the perspective of I didn't go through and set all my context windows the same. They're different for each model because I can fit a different amount in each model. So this is going to range anywhere from like the default 4096 all the way up to 128,000 tokens. It doesn't really matter for what we're doing right now because I really just want to be able to show you a general tokens per second speed. And I know somebody's going to say in the comments, it's not the same if the context window isn't the same. Yeah, I know. It'll be fine. It's just to get you a general idea. So Granite 1B ran at 82 tokens per second on this machine. Uh, I will say I didn't particularly like the email that Granite 1B came up with, but that's also not really what I use Granite 1B for. So let's jump to the next one. The next one that I tried out was LFM2, 1.2 billion parameter RAG model. Now this is a model I actually like, I use it for RAG. I don't really use it for having it write emails for me or anything. I really just wanted to see its tokens per second, but this has a little bit different architecture and you can see it was much, much faster. 130 tokens per second on this machine and the email actually wasn't that bad. Uh, it's not what I would send, but it wasn't that bad, especially considering that this was not made to write emails. It was made to do RAG, and I just asked it to do something it's not good at. So moving up to a little bit bigger model, we'll go to LFM2, and this is the 1.6 per billion parameter vision model. Okay, so I put the same prompt in, and it gives me a nice short email, and the other thing is, again, 130 tokens per second. Super fast here. And this email isn't actually that bad. 
It's like, I wanted to reach out regarding some of the software that I've been using. I understand issues can arise. I can appreciate your insights on how to improve it. Um, so like, this wasn't awful, right? This this wasn't awful um, and super fast, 130 tokens per second. And my experience with pretty much everything from Liquid AI has been that it's very, very fast. Okay, so one that's really, really popular among other people is Quen3 4B thinking. So as you can see here, this is my main issue with the the Quen thinking models is they think a long time in my for, for my personal preferences. So on my machine, writing this simple email took it 21 seconds and you can see how much it thought about that. And then when it finally gets to kicking out a response, it writes too much. I wanted an email. I didn't want to know why it works. I didn't want a table about blah, 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 blah. I just wanted an email draft, right? So it did eventually give me an email draft. And like the other thing that I didn't like was I didn't like this. No blame, just practical ideas. So I I like other Quen models. It's just this 4 billion parameter model is not, it, it just hasn't worked out for the ways that I use LMs and what I prefer to see out of LMs, but I know a lot of people really like it. So I wanted to mention it. In terms of speed of what this ran at on my 4060, uh, 28 tokens per second. So that's really kind of like the low end of what I can tolerate as I'm working with it in actual workflow. And that's just, again, my personal preferences. Uh, moving up in parameter size a little bit, this one's actually an equal move to Gemma 3 4B. Again, not my personal favorite model, but one of the few things that I actually do like the Gemma 3 models for. So like, um, if you watch the channel, I previously said in a video that I liked Gemma 3 27B for email. And honestly, this one's not that bad at 4 billion parameters. You, the thing that I liked about the 27 billion was it would give me different ways of writing it. So it, without me prompting it to do so. And I know you're probably going to be like, oh, you said you didn't like it when Quen gave you that information. It's giving me different things, right? Quen was telling me about why it worked. I didn't want to know why it worked. I'm, I'm a smart person. I can figure that out. What I liked about what Gemma did is it gave me three different options on how I could write this depending upon the type of tone that I wanted. But then again, still it goes on with this kind of stuff, which is fine, whatever. It ran about the same speed as Quen, 31 tokens per second. So let's jump to Granite 4 Micro. Now this is one I've been using for web search quite a bit. It works pretty well in my personal opinion for that. It also has worked pretty well for me for RAG applications. Its email wasn't awful from what I remember. Um, and it ran about 46 tokens per second. So 46 is still really fast. Uh, I, at least for me, 46 is very usable and I would have no hesitation using this model for more than I probably do. And the only reason I use a different one, I tend to use Granite for tiny rather than micro, uh, just cause it's a little tiny bit bigger model and I get a little bit better results for the type of work that I do with it. So next, I want to show you guys Gemma 3N E4B. Now, this is a model that I think flew under a lot of people's radar. Um, if I remember correctly, it was kind of put out there as one to run on edge devices, but I ended up trying it for RAG, and it's good at it. And I know that sounds weird, but for me, this model worked really well for RAG. Um, I didn't. I don't think that I actually went through and read this email, um, but I can tell you why I don't really like the responses because all this fluff, but I know that that's kind of the trend in a lot of these models is having a bunch of fluff come after it. Uh, this ran about 50 tokens per second. So pretty good, pretty good speed there. Moving up to my, what I call like my daily driver model, the model that I'm using the most out of anything right now. And uh, this is for like having it summarize things, write emails. I don't really use this for web search. Um, it's mostly for like chat is LFM2 8 billion, 1 billion active parameters. So it is an MOE model and it is crazy fast. As you can see on my machine, this ran 143 tokens per second. That's like lightning fast. It's hard to, it's hard to explain how fast that is, but this email isn't bad, right? When we look at this, it's like, I want to share some thoughts on a recent project. Well, I appreciate your effort. There's several areas where we encountered challenges. It felt like some of the core functionality it didn't hold up under testing. Uh, I value our collaboration and we could work on it. Maybe we can discuss how to streamline it. So like, is this a perfect email? No, but I'm, you know, with the way that I use LLMs, I'm looking for LLMs to give me 80% of the way that I can reword this. And then I'm going to think about how I can use those ideas to say it into what I would actually say without having to sit down. And I mean, I overanalyze things. It'll take me 45 minutes to write an email that literally I can have this brainstorm it for me. And then that gives me new ideas about how to say what I want to say much, much faster. So I've been a really big fan of this LFM2 8 billion 
parameters 1 billion active. This has worked really, really well for me in the types of use cases that I do so far. The one thing that I can't get it to work with, I will say, is web search. I can't get this to work very well with web search. And it could be that I'm doing something wrong. Next bigger model is Granite for Tiny. So I like this model a lot. This is the one that I've been using for web search stuff. Um, I've been using Perplexica lately. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. It's kind of like a perplexity clone, but for local AI, you can hook it directly up to your local AI. If you guys are interested in a video on that, just let me know in the comments and I can make a quick video on it. It's super cool. I've been pretty impressed with it so far. Um, and I've been using Granite for Tiny as my LM to use that with. And so this did a pretty good job writing an email. I don't remember exactly all the stuff. There's some things in here that are like, they're way more fluffy than what I would personally say, but that's okay because this is not what I would actually say. Like I said, I don't copy paste this into my email. I use it to give me ideas on how to rewrite things. So Granite 4 Tiny on this machine ran around 50 tokens per second. So again, really fast. So the last model that I'm gonna show you is a little bit bigger. It's still just under 60 gigabytes in size. Uh, this is NVIDIA Nemotron Nano 9 billion parameter V2. That's a mouthful to say, right? But it's right here. NVIDIA Nematron Nano 9 billion parameters V2. It is a dense model instead of a mixture of experts model. And it's a reasoning model. So I can open this up and you can see it, it does its reasoning like other models do. So I've actually been very impressed with this model. The only reason I don't use this more is because since it's a dense model, it runs slower on my computer. It runs about 20 tokens per second. Now, I will say, it's hard to put in words why this model impressed me, but I think if I had to summarize it, I would say the depth of its knowledge and its ability to convey it in a simple way surprised me for a 9 billion parameter dense model. And it could just be that recently, you know, there's a big trend towards MOEs and maybe I just kind of forgot how good an 8 or 9 billion parameter dense model can be. But I've really enjoyed working with this Nematron Nano 9B. And if you're somebody who really wants to use a dense model rather than MOE, I'd suggest trying this one out and seeing how it fits with, with what you do. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. To summarize, for RAG, I really like LFM 1.2 RAG specific nano model. Um, I've also been really impressed with Gemma 3N E4B for RAG. Those are two small models that work really well for RAG for my use case. I've also found that the small granite models work well for RAG. In terms of speed, the absolute fastest one that I run on my machine right now is this LFM LFM2, 8 billion parameter, 1 billion active parameter. That thing is a lightning bolt. As you can see, 143 tokens per second. And I, for my uses, I find it good enough. Like this is the model that I use for most things now when I'm brainstorming or trying to come up with a different way to say something. It's so fast that basically as soon as I hit enter, I'm getting my entire response. So I can't argue with that. Even if there's other models that give me better results, I don't necessarily need better in my use case. I need ideas quickly. Like I want different ways that I could word something or I want to, I have, as you guys know, I talk a lot, right? I talk a lot. And the thing is I write a lot too. That's just the nature of who I am. So I can dump three pages in here and say, how do I say this in a paragraph? And you know, it'll give me ideas on how to make it a paragraph when instead I just word vomit it all over the page. So I really like this LFM2, 8 billion, 1 billion, active parameter model as my general chat. So that's pretty much my recommendations for you guys. For RAG, LFM2's 1.2 billion parameter RAG model, or you can try out Gemma 3N E4B. Both of those have been great for me for RAG. For general talk, I really like LFM2, 8 billion, 1 billion active. And the Granite 4 models have been great for me in regards to summarization and anything really professional, I guess you could say. Like, I think the granite models are made for that corporate type of environment. And with me working in academia, they work well. For 99% of the things that I do, they work well enough. So you're probably wondering, why do I use LFM2 instead of granite for like my general chat? Simply because LFM2 is way faster on the equipment I have. And I'm not gonna go out and spend $1,000 to run a different model a little bit faster because this does the 80%. And that 80% is really what I'm looking for when it comes to using private AI on my computer. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. I will include some links down in the description. Uh, if you want more recommendations like this, I do run larger models. I run, for example, like GPTOSS 20B. That runs reasonably well on my machine. Of course, Quen3 30B A3. That's a really, really popular model. I don't really wanna cover more of that because because I know a lot of people use it, but honestly, I t find that 
for the way that I like to interact with LLMs, I find OSS 20B to be more long to my personal preferences. But if you're if you're interested in that little bit bigger size range, I do run those on this machine. I can show you guys some benchmarks or you know informal benchmarks of tokens per second, uh, just like we did here with some of those models. If you're interested in some of those more mid-sized models like GLM 4.5 Air, all that. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you have other great small models, please do let me know because I'm always on the lookout for these lightning fast, tiny models that punch above their weight class and just make me say, wow. And for me, I, I hope that I got across to you guys. I know I showed you a bunch of different models, but I am a big believer in small models are good at specific things. And I usually use a different small model for each specific thing. And that keeps me happy and it keeps my results good. And a lot of it's kind of like based on vibe. So the way that I like to interact with a model is probably not the exact same as you would like to interact with a model. And that's why I wanted to show you guys this range of models that I use that are all less than six gigabytes in size. So with that said, uh, please like and subscribe to help support the channel. I really appreciate all of your guys' support. We're over 7,000 subscribers now. I'm kind of dumbfounded that I never thought the channel would get this far. So thank you guys a ton. I hope you have an absolutely awesome afternoon, and I will see you guys in the next video.